energy cannot be created. It can only be transferred from one form to another. Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Before I start, let me go ahead and explain to you why I come to Zero Hedge a lot when I read my articles. Some people tell me, why do you only go to Zero Hedge? Well, Zero Hedge pulls articles from different places. All right, so it's easy for me to come here to see a diverse look of articles from different places. Like for example, this article here was authored by Michael Schneider. I'm gonna be skimming through this article and another article, this one right here, that was authored by Alessar McLeod. All right, I think that's how you pronounce his name. See, so these are articles that are pulled from different places. That's why I like to come to Zero Hedge. Sometimes I go to different places, but this is a pretty good source of information. So let's go back to the topic here. There is one thing that I think is more of a threat to a to our nation than what is going on right now. And of course, it is connected to what is going on, but it's an even bigger threat. And I'm going to be going over that with you guys. So I hope you guys stay through till the end. Do you remember earlier this year when consumers were feverishly hoarding toilet paper and were seeing colossal lines at food banks all over the nation during the initial stages of this health crisis. It's happening again. And of course, we all know it's happening again. We see it everywhere. You know, the news is pumping up the fear again. Now that this political cycle is over, well, not really over, we're still waiting on results, right? But now that that's over, the news has one other thing to go to in order to induce fear upon the public. And it's working, ladies and gentlemen. It truly is working. Not only is that working, but the lockdowns that states and counties all over the country are being threatened with is inducing fear into people. And now you can see all of the lines. You can see some of the panic buying that's going on. But there is something that is more dangerous to our nation than the fear that is being put out by mainstream media sources. And that's what I'm going to get to here in a minute. Now that the vote on November 3rd is behind us, this health crisis has once again become the primary focus of the mainstream media. And a lot of people are completely freaking out. Just earlier this year, store shelves across the country were being emptied because Americans don't want to be stuck at home without enough toilet paper and hand sanitizer. And I'm sure he's being a little facetious there. People were stocking up on a lot more things than just those two items. However, I think you get what he means. Each new restriction that gets announced adds to the frenzy, and it has gotten to the point where new restrictions are literally being announced around the nation on a daily basis. In California, supplies of toilet paper are being voraciously gobbled up by fearful consumers. Shortages are being reported all over the nation at this point. A while back, I remember doing a payday prep where I uh, stocked up on a little bit of uh, paper products. And I said that I had someone that was an insider within the supermarket industry that said stock up on paper products because they will be coming up short again in the near future. And here we are. If you have a large family, how long are two packs of toilet paper going to last you? Point being, at least how I take it as ladies and gentlemen, stock up on those things that you need to survive. Yes, toilet paper is great. We've been accustomed here to use toilet paper, but think outside the box. I don't have one of these. I'm thinking about getting one, but someone said that a bidet, you know, the things that you put in your toilet that spray water on your bum to help clean it, that it reduces the use of toilet paper by like 75%. But if you have nothing going in, why are you so worried about what's coming out? Stock up on food. Get those things that you know that you need to survive. If you have to supplement toilet paper by doing something else to clean yourself, then do so. But food and nutrition right now, in my opinion, is more important. When you try to prepare for an emergency at the last minute, you're almost certainly going to fall short. One or two trips to the grocery store is not going to cut it. And anyone that thinks otherwise is simply being delusional. When you hear things on the news 
or read articles, or even me. Think critically. Do not allow your emotions to affect your behavior. I was very saddened from some of the comments that were put up on the video where I found Robert. And by the way, if you haven't seen that video where I finally found Robert, I think it was great. And 99% of the comments were great. But a few of them had me thinking, what in the world is wrong with you? Now, I'm not going to call anyone out. But they left comments on there that had absolutely nothing to do with that video. But that had to do with his health crisis. Anyways, I digress. And it continues on here to say that sadly, the truth is that this is happening all over the nation. And this new round of lockdowns will continue to make things even worse as we head into 2021. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this health crisis, the actual health crisis, is not what I feel that will make things worse in 2021. What I feel that will make things worse in 2021 is this. Many people think that we're going to have some kind of of a reset and my argument is this we are living through a reset and this reset will not end in the favor of the person that has to go out there and work every day to earn funds in order to sustain his or her family I'm gonna read a little bit of this to you and then I'm gonna to get to the main point that I'm trying to make on this video because I really hope that some people get it so that they can understand why it is that the printing of money the creation of fiat currency is going to destroy our nation. If we continue on this path of creating money out of nothing, which is impossible, and I'm going to explain to you why it is impossible to create money out of nothing. But if we continue on this path, we will lose our nation. This article takes a tilt at increasing speculation about status global resets and why plans such as those promoted by the World Economic Forum will fail. Central bank digital currencies will simply run out of time. Instead, the collapse of unbacked fiat currencies will end all supranational government solutions to their policy failures. Already, there is mounting evidence of money beginning to flee the banks into stocks, commodities, and even Bitcoin. This is an early warning of a rapidly developing monetary collapse. And what does he mean right there when he says money is beginning to flee bank accounts into stocks and even Bitcoin or stocks, commodities and even Bitcoin? That, ladies and gentlemen, is what is called Gresham's Law. In economics, Gresham's Law is a monetary principle stating that bad money drives out good. For example, if there are two forms of commodity money in circulation which are accepted by law as having similar face value, the more valuable commodity will gradually disappear from circulation. Which means what? The money that is the best will disappear from circulation. And when he says that money is beginning to flee bank accounts into stocks, commodities, and even Bitcoin, what he's saying is that the Federal Reserve note, this right here, the Federal Reserve note is being traded for something which is seen as being more valuable than itself. For example, if you trade a Federal Reserve note for a pack of toilet paper, it's because you see that that pack of toilet paper has more value than that Federal Reserve note. So you're driving out the bad money and keeping the good money for yourself and in almost all instances and I say almost all because I have not studied the 599 or 700 plus fiat currencies that have failed throughout history every single fiat currency has failed throughout history and I'm going to be coming to my point here really soon so I really hope that you're hanging in there the reason fiat currencies fail is because they inherently have no value that wasn't stolen from another note that someone earned with their energy, with their labor. And why is that so important? He continues to say, moreover, nothing can now stop the collapse of fiat currencies. 
and with it schemes to control humanity for the convenience and ambitions of government planners. There can only be one status solution, and that is to mobilize gold reserves to back and save their currencies, which in order to succeed will have to be fully convertible into circulating gold coinage. It will also require the role of governments to be reset into a non-welfare, non-interventionist, minimalist role, which can only be achieved after a complete collapse of the current fiat finance system. Ladies and gentlemen, I implore you to come back and read that paragraph over and over and over again, because what he's saying there is fact. What he's saying there is what has happened every single time to every fiat currency that has ever been created. It is exactly what has happened. And this is what I fear will happen to our nation, and not only our nation, but throughout the world. I want to explain to you something really quick. The monetary system by which we are now governed, really. And why I say governed is, is because we really don't have much of a choice but to use what is available. Will end up destroying us. And why these lockdowns and the fear mongering? Yep, I said it. I said the word. Why this lockdowns and the fear mongering from the mainstream media is going to end up causing our nation to go down the hole that so many other nations have gone down in history because they did not want to give up the power of their fiat currency. You have to understand. Fiat currency gives governments a lot of power because what they can do is, is they can tax you without you even knowing and they can spend whatever they want while taking your wealth away from you. For those of you that have taken physics in the past, you will understand that energy cannot be created nor can it be destroyed. It can only be changed from one thing to another. So putting it in the simplest terms that I can, imagine a house, a brand new house that was built from the ground up. That is something that was created. That is something that was built from wood and it was built from metal, like for the screws that they use for the nails that they use, for the copper wiring that they use, all these things, right? Well, before you can get the lumber to build that house, what had to be done first? Well, a tree had to be destroyed. You had to cut down a tree, ending its life. You had to cut it into dimensional lumber. And then you can go and build, build your house. So energy was not created. That house is full of energy. A tree had to be destroyed in order for the house to be created. How is it that locking people down and giving them money to stay home will create prosperity? It will not create prosperity because the energy that is being given to them in the form of fiat currency is energy that was created out of nothing and that's impossible you can't create energy out of nothing so what had to happen is that that fiat currency that was created had to get its energy from somewhere and where did it get its energy from it got its energy from all of the other currency that people had already worked for that people had already traded their energy for so people go to work, they trade their energy for fiat currency so that they can in turn take that fiat currency and purchase different energy, different forms of energy, i.e. food, toilet paper. So if people are not producing, then what good are these fiat dollars going to do when there is no production value? I hope you understand what I'm saying. The main point is this. 
energy cannot be created it can only be transferred from one form to another when you go to work you are giving up of your energy in order to get a different form of energy and what you receive in a fiat currency for your labor is not even energy it is the promise that you will receive a different form of energy in the future this right here is the national debt clock and it has a lot of statistics on it but mainly people look at it in order to take a look at the national debt now 27 trillion 275 billion dollars is currently our national debt we won't talk about any of the other debts that we have like unfunded liabilities such as pensions such as medicare medicaid things like that we'll just talk about the national debt what does that 27 trillion dollars represent it represents energy that we have borrowed from the future so that we can spend it in the now that is what that represents so when you look at that number the United States has a deficit an energy deficit of 27 trillion dollars printing more dollars out of thin air will do nothing to solve this problem all it will do is it will enslave us into having to pay those energies back in the future we have to work for those energy coupons for that fiat currency we have to produce something of value for those energy coupons the government just prints it out of nowhere which in case steals the energy from those dollars that you had to earn so how in the world can we pay back a debt with debt because remember those dollars that you're paid for your labor it's debt it is a promissory note that you will be able to purchase something with it that you need in order to live how can you pay back debt with debt and now you hear a lot of people talking that people should just get locked down in their homes and be given fiat currency so that they can live well if there is no production what are you going to do with that fiat currency eventually it's going to take more and more and more fiat currency for you to be able to purchase those things that you need to live because the production has gone down to a point where there are too much fiat currency notes circulating to accommodate the amount of goods that are available to purchase with those fiat currencies I remember a story from the Weimar Republic that a person went to a bread shop with a wheelbarrow full of money and he left it outside because he went inside to settle how much he was going to have to pay for that loaf of bread when he went back outside all of the money that was in the wheelbarrow was on the sidewalk but the wheelbarrow was gone why because the value of the wheelbarrow the energy that it costs someone to make that wheelbarrow was a lot more than what the fiat currency inside of that wheelbarrow was worth that is what would happen to our currency should we allow our nation to continue to be locked down and stop producing ladies and gentlemen i'm sure that all governments around the world have the solution the government will take care of you they'll take care of producing the food they'll give you your little fiat currency and you can go and buy what they tell you you can buy that month or that week with whatever they give you and as time goes on that fiat currency will become more and more worthless why because the more that is printed the more that is borrowed from the future the more that things will cost in the now and the more that we will have to pay later on this is not just a matter of what we in the now have to go through 
but it is also a matter of what our children and grandchildren will have to pay back when production is shut down and real things are not made and money is printed out of nowhere we will not be able to sustain our economy the middle class is currently being erased many can say it's on purpose many will say that it's because of this health crisis we have to we have to lock down ladies and gentlemen but look at what's going on to our nation and when the system does reset it's not going to be good either way if the system does reset according to what governments and the elite want to do it will be very bad for us they will have total control over our lives and if the system resets the way that nature intended it to reset it will be very painful for everyone people will lose everything i'm talking about millions millions of households having to give up their homes losing their cars losing their jobs that is what will happen when the system naturally resets governments are trying to induce fear into the population so that the population can follow the government's lead why because government is there for one thing and one thing only it's there for government all right ladies and gentlemen i hope i really hope that someone got something out of this i hope that i explained it in a way that maybe made a little bit of sense i hope you guys have a great day and i hope to see you tomorrow during our live stream at 12 noon alaska time and I want to say thank you very much one more time to all of you, not just the people that donated towards uh, Robert's cause, but to all of you, because you all played a part in us being able to help a really good person, every single one of you. So thank you very much. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Lask Prepper. I'm out.